plastic is one of the most dangerous materials to the environment due to the long period it takes to decompose. Some plastic materials can take between 10 to 50 years to decompose. Plastic pollutes water, soils and the entire environment at large. In order to deal with the problem of poor disposal of plastic, 15 students of Makere University College of Veterinary Medicine, Animal Resources and Biosecurity are using bacteria to eat away plastic. Alex Chavarong is a team leader. Previously we were using uh, ordinary methods of titration and of centrifugation uh, where you get a pipette and you put it in a pipette head and then you withdraw your bacteria and inoculate. Recently the team received a $5,000 Opentron's OT2 robot which is used to pick samples in the right amounts. The Opentron's robot is linked to a laptop with a software where it receives commands or protocols. The laptop helps in interlinking with the robot through calibration. Previously we were using uh, ordinary methods of titration and of centrifugation uh, where you get a pipette and you put it in a pipette head and then you withdraw your bacteria and inoculate. But uh, now we got a machine uh, from the United States which uh, is in the work. Uh, we get, uh, we have its protocol uh, loaded on its app and the app is installed in a laptop. According to Chabalong, the Idionella sakiensis bacteria genes were imported from outside. You, after you have seen the bacteria, you now uh, get them uh, with, uh, with a swab and then you put them on another mixer to purify the colonies. Then after that, you can now bring your enzyme, uh, inoculate it in, and then it will do transformation. It will take the enzyme, go into the bacteria. The genes are then transformed. There you're incorporating the enzyme which is outside, which was not part of the bacteria, to make the bacteria be able to take up the enzyme and express it. So after expressing it, the bacteria itself will have the ability to degrade the plastic because it has the enzyme which has the ability to degrade the plastic. The students who started their technology last year explained that their bacteria is kept inside the fridge at all times. A uh, deep freezer will go to negative 70, negative 86, negative 100. So uh, there are those which can survive under negative 4, but there are those which can survive in a deep freezer. So that's why we keep them, because if you leave them there, they will not, you know, they will, the environmental temperature will affect them and they will not multiply. According to the students, the bacteria that degrades plastic was first discovered in Japan in 2016. When tested, they found an enzyme which eats plastic. After growing the bacteria, an enzyme that helps eat plastic is added. The bacteria is kept in liquid form before it is applied on unwanted plastic. It's like how you eat food and the enzymes in the GIT or in your stomach start you know, crushing down the, 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 the food into micromolecules. The better the bacteria, the shorter the period it takes to eat the plastic into smaller molecules. However, there are other byproducts that can be got from the degraded plastic. You can purify it and form ethylene glycol, that's another uh, pathway. Or you can use it to form biofuels, gas, that's also another pathway. The students' representative shared some of the challenges they faced. We've got a challenge of finances. Uh, we've tried to reach out to institutions here, uh, but we've not been you know, helped out. Plastic is non-degradable, meaning it cannot decompose. Thus, it's a very big threat to the environment, the mankind, and also the aquatic life. But synthetic biology could be one of the solutions, reasons it's one clean way of getting rid of plastic from the environment. This one does not need anything like burning, which also pollutes the environment. And this is a venture that government could tap into so that most of the plastic that is choking many places in the country could be gotten rid of. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV Makere University.